Yo, 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 guys, it's your boy, Rob the Rider, and coming at you with daily uploads. Thank you guys for showing me support with the views. I'm really enjoying it. Um, thank you, you're making me really want to make videos, and, uh, yeah, so we're coming at you with another ride review, because my first ride review, also my first video on my channel, this is only my third video, my first video on my channel was a ride review of Steel Curtain. It was actually a ride, um, you know, I just kind of looked at it and, anal anal and I analyzed it. Because, of course, nobody's been on the ride yet. Or have they? You know, you never know. Maybe some aliens have snuck into the... the okay, no, just no. But, yeah, nobody's written it yet. But I actually, this is my home park, okay? Yeah, you probably didn't know that about me yet. This is my home park, California's Great America. And I'll be going there in about maybe two days from now? Two days, yeah. Um, I really think this place is pretty good. Um, this, I think this is the real POV. Did not go on opening day because I was actually in Spain. Well, actually, I was in Spain and I got to ride. Um, I got to go to Port Aventura, so it was completely worth going to Spain. Well, <laughs> not, not, not just because of Port Aventura, but, um, you know, we went on a cruise. That was epic. And I went to Port Aventura, but that's not what you want to hear, guys. You want to hear about the ride. So I've been here. My... Just gonna say, guys, this is no not my favorite ride at California's Great America. My favorite ride at California's Great America is still Gold Striker. That is very, very good ride. Very good GCI. Used to be my favorite wooden coaster. I was beat by Thunderhead and El Toro. Um, I love those two rides. El Toro is really high on my list. I will be doing a top 25 or 10 list of roller coasters. But, okay, back to Real Blazer. So, um, let's just do an analysis right here. So, you're climbing up the lift hill. You're actually kind of high, you know, um, you're actually, I mean, you're not super high, but you're, you know, you're a little high. I mean, it's higher than you'd think. Um, I don't know why the cart is shaking on this POV. Oh, this part's pretty fun. You get, uh, whipped, you know, you get some whiplash, uh, pretty cool. And this drop, guys, I gotta say, I sat in the back row and the front row. It's kind of boring. I mean, you don't really do too much. That, that inversion's pretty fun right there. I do not think it's running this fast, actually, but... It's running pretty fast. So, yeah, you do some uh, turns. Um, That's pretty good airtime. Gotta say about the airtime on this ride, though, it is thigh crushy. Yeah, I've not heard this from that many people, but the airtime on this is really crushing your thighs. Like, especially in the back row and the front row. Oh, my gosh. Well, if you sit in the middle row, you don't really get that much airtime, so you don't thigh crush. But if you're in the back or front, you get some pretty bad thigh crushing airtime. Um, yeah, so, um, honestly, when I went to California's Greater America, I was a little underwhelmed by this ride. I didn't think it was as fun or good as people say. People say it's amazing. People say RMC Raptors are amazing. You know, I didn't think so. I don't think it's that good. I, I'd say it's third in the park. Yeah, third in the park. That's insane. And you're probably like, oh, you're an RMC hater. My number one roller coaster is an RMC, so Steel Vengeance, that's amazing. I have so many. I've written a lot of RMCs. I've written Joker, Twisted Colossus, Wicked Cyclone, um, Steel Vengeance. Yeah, I've written a lot, and oh, well, this is an RMC, too. And this is definitely my least favorite. Yeah, it was less good than Joker at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, and I like Joker, actually. But this ride, I mean, I kind of like the whippy transitions, but it wasn't like Maverick. It was just kind of a, not a board, it's not, definitely not a boring ride. Not, not even close. But look how short it's over. Like, Look at this, right? Right? If it, uh, uh, it's not too long, like look, that's the brake run right there. I don't know how long exactly it is, not including the lift hill, but it's not too long. Um, yeah, guys, you can see I'm mostly not the biggest fan of this ride. Um, no, there's nothing bad about it. Like, there's nothing like bad. Well, except the thigh crushing. I'm not a fan of that. If it had no thigh crushing. It'd be a pretty good ride. It'd be like 9 out of 10. I'd rate it right now about a 7 out of 10. Because the airtime is strong ejector airtime, believe me. But thigh crushing. So I don't think I'm going to like Sky Rush at Hershey Park. Because if that has sky, um, thigh crushing, um, yeah, I was not a big fan of this ride. Um, yeah, third in the park behind Gold Striker and Flight Deck. Yeah, I like the B&M Inverted Park better. Flight Deck's really underrated. Um, Gold, Gold Striker has not stronger ejector airtime, but it's better, it's longer, it's, I don't, I don't know if it's faster, but this POV, I don't know if they're playing it at a bigger, a faster speed, because it's not this fast. Like, Railblazer's pretty fast, but it wasn't, like, this fast. This must be, like, 
dang, like they must be using some different wheels or something because this looks amazingly fast. Um, I gotta say though, the inversions did not disappoint at all. I love the inversions. Um, very good. Um, yeah, there was only one that was not very good. I don't remember which one it was, but I'd say the highlight of the ride, not the drop. The drop's kind of boring. Like once I said, like I said, um, the best part of the drop is going through the tunnel then. But it's kind of boring. It's like most vertical drops you get ejected from your seat, such well, uh, or beyond vertical drops, such as Maverick at Cedar Point. I know that's beyond vertical, but let's think of a vertical one. Uh, there's a vertical drop. You're not going to get this reference at all. Thunderbolt at Coney Island. <laughs> yeah, I went there. That's my least favorite theme park, but that's for a different video. But Thunderbolt, that's a vertical drop, and I felt... Boom, you're ejected out of your seat. Not saying that's a good ride at all. Rail Blazer's way better than Thunderbolt. But, um, yeah, um, yeah, every single vertical drop I felt, like, drops like, um, I don't know, it's just this drop's kind of boring. Gold Striker's way better. This is a vertical one, you know. It's just like, it kind of, it well, <laughs> this, this is going to be funny, guys. Okay, comment down below. I have a joke. Okay, comment right now. What's the best drop at the park at, in California's Great America? Comment, guys. It's going to it's gonna be funny, okay? Comment, and I'll tell you my answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The best drop in the park <laughs> is the drop on the drop tower. <laughs> and if you guys are paying attention this far in the video, you're probably going to think that's dumb but um yeah i i like the drop tower drop tower is my favorite ride in great america well probably gold striker is but yeah um this the drops of this park are pretty good um such as flight decks drop that's pretty good the drop towers drop <laughs> pretty good and gold strikers drop but i think this um yeah i think this was this a good addition for the park guys you tell me because i'm gonna say right now i think it was kind of a waste i mean i know there's all this hype for rmc raptors but I think this is kind of a waste. Like, I think they could have gone with something better, like a Mac multi-launch. I'm kind of sad I went to Carowinds, you know? And uh, I know there is a Mac multi-launch coming to California. And I would love to see that at California's Great America. I would love to see that. I would love a launch coaster here. Because they don't have a launch coaster. I mean, that's just really sad because I really want a launch coaster, but I don't think that's going to happen because California's Great America pretty much confirmed to be getting that 2020 B&M Hyper. But uh, if you guys enjoyed my video, please leave a like and uh, comment comment what I said. What's the best drop at the park? What do you actually think if you've been here? And are you do you want to go to this park? Do you want to ride the Railblazer? What's your opinion on RMC Raptors? And if you guys can disagree with me, Feel free to say it. I won't, I won't be offended. Don't be like, yo, your opinion is the worst. You are trash. Not like that. Just, just, <laughs> just, just, you know, be, 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 be kind, please. Okay. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.